Hey y'all, I'm back. Part two of the Northern Pike for my customer. I'm just gonna check, make sure everything's working right. All right, looks like it's going good. No one's tuned in yet, but I just wanted to show you a little update of where I got it. I did a lot of work on this thing off camera. Um, as you can see, I've done quite a bit from the last time. I do have the face pretty much all done as well. I will uncover that here. Um, but I did make a masking uh, for this mouth area here. Because this is going to be... Hold on here. Give me a second. There we go. Yeah, this area here is going to be... It's like a pinkish purple. Uh, I was just got to mix in a little color up, playing with some color mixing, trying to get it right. Haven't sprayed it out yet or tested it, but I'm going to give it a shot here. And I forgot to clean out my airbrush, so bear with me here a second while I get this paint out here. We're going to lay some, lay this uh, pinkish, maroon purplish mouth tone in here and using my GSI Creos I learned a lesson with one of my Creoses last night I tore it down cleaned it even pulled the packing screw out of it and I'm pretty sure I over tightened the packing screw because my needle will not go back in so I had to go out and order some new ones from SprayGunner.com If you haven't checked them out yet make sure you go check out SprayGunner They got an excellent website I got a little pop-up box here for questions too. You can ask them anything. They're super responsive. They'll get back to you within 24 hours. If you contact them early in the day, we'll, we'll get back to you soon. Uh, but they got a really nice website. If you haven't checked them out, it's SprayGunner.com. You got airbrushes, spray guns now, compressors, all sorts of different paint. They got all the Createx paints out there. Um, just like their banner here says, fast shipping for sure and also if you think you found a better deal send spray gunner the link and they will beat the price they will beat any price so they're pretty awesome over there they really love their customers too uh, they got paint for spray guns they got the scenic uh, mural paints by createx they also got some aerosols they got some flake by custom created uh, they got some pinstriping stuff they got tons of accessories as well. Um, they got parts for all the airbrushes that they sell. The Creoses, Harder and Steamback, uh, Badger, uh, Pache, Grex, Spray Max, and they have some uh, Hansa. I think that's how you pronounce it. Airbrushes as well. Yeah, Hansa. Uh, I've heard good things about them. They also have some stencils, some tapes. Um, they have some really good masking tape uh, if you don't um, have access to F as FBS or want to try something a little cheaper custom creative is great um, they have some rice tape they call it uh, I've never heard of it before but I got some and it's excellent masking tape super thin um, uh, they got a lot of great tools for airbrushes they got compressors they've got some clear coat I also got learning materials out there as well too so you just have to go out to spray gunner check it out for yourself uh, so with that being said you don't want to see all that i'm sure so let's get back to painting so get my, finish getting my airbrush cleaned out here
like usual I'm using one of my Krios's this is the uh, I don't know if you can see it but the PS 270 platinum series also have the PS 770 uh, this is compared to the Iwata Micron um, I haven't used it a whole lot but I did use it some today in the face and getting more used to it and starting to like it a little more so you might see me using it more and more upcoming as well so so let's get some paint in this airbrush and at least get this base in the mouth here i haven't sprayed this color so i'm just going to do a little testing here quick Let me adjust the camera so you can get a little bit better view here. Let me get you zoomed in a little more. And of course I closed it out. I promise I'll get better at this streaming stuff, so just be patient with me. Sorry, my computer's not very fast, so Trying to get my camera app open here so I can get zoomed in for you. Well, I guess I am zoomed in about as far as I can go. So, I guess that's about as good as we're going to get here. So, do a little spray out, check my color. I'm pretty happy with that. So, what I did, just cut a stencil, cut out just the areas in the mouth that are this pinkish purple color here. So, I'm just going to lightly get some color in here. Went a little too far, I went a little extra with my cutting on my stencil. That way I could come in with some, this is, uh, what is it? I'm not sure what brand tape this is, but I think it might be some FBS. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I cut it out a little bit so I could use that tape along the actual edges um, just to kind of hold that part down for me a little better. So let's just get some color in here. Now the back of this mouth is quite a bit darker in my reference, so not going to be super worried about going dark back there, but kind of want to stay light in this front side here. And actually, I'm going to have to come in with some white actually here because I got a little bit of fluorescent yellow overspray. I don't know how, you probably can't see it very good right here on the fin. So I'm going to cover that up so it's not popping through. I got some white in my PS770 from a little earlier when I was working on this thing, doing some work in the face. And then uh, I got some green overspray down here, so I'm just going to come in with my white. Just kind of push that green back a little bit, give me a better base of my color actually. This pinkish purple color actually comes through. Not, don't have color, so I don't have some color bleeding going on. Just get up these little edges where I got some overspray. Give it a little dry. I don't get color bleed going on. Alright, let's get back to this pinkish purple. Get my, make sure you get your dry tip off. Always check your needle. Get that dry tip off that needle. So it sprays like it should. I'm going to turn down my pressure a little bit. Because uh, it's kind of blowing up my, pulling my stencil off. So I'm going to use my hand around it too. Kind of hold it down on the edges. Just getting that color in there. Down here it shifts to more of a bluish, so 
And I'm going to have to mix a little more color. I'll probably do it right in my cup with this when I get all my values right with where I want them with this this cup shade or color that I'm using right now. So, we got a little shadow from the upper part of the mouth here, so we'll get this back part of it a little bit darker. Now I'm going to flip this up a little bit just so I can see the whole thing and see, make sure that my uh, stencil here wasn't covering up some areas. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, I think I'm happy with that. Actually, I'm going to come in and darken it up a little down here in the reference. There's some shadow from the lure here kind of casting on the tongue as well like it is here in the back part of it so. dry and I think I'm going to be happy with that it looks pretty good so let's just peel this up take a quick peek and yeah yeah I'm happy with it so as you can see I did do quite a bit more work to this thing since my first stream I uh, got that eye done got some more detail in the face there's a few little things i still want to do in the face um, i want to give it a little more depth and three-dimensional look right here where it's right here in the gill area where this cheek area kind of bulges out a little bit more but um, as you can see i got a lot more detail in the fins. Um, added a lot of some highlights. In my reference picture, it's an actual digital picture um, that the customer sent me that he wanted me to try to replicate, uh, which is way too difficult for me at this point in my airbrushing career, but. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with how it's all turned out so far. It's been a lot of work and definitely been the most difficult piece I've ever done. Um, but yeah, in that reference picture, there's a lot of these like bluish colors in here. And so I put them in here as well as blue, kind of a blue cast here, a little bit of blue there and there, a little bit of blue on the back of these fins, a little blue on the underbelly where it's actually white on the fish and that's got a little different texture than the scales do but I made myself a little stencil for for this uh, I just use a stencil burner and some you know and like a folder divider but you can probably see it better on this side maybe uh, maybe not but I made a bunch of little scale shapes and then for the underbelly and a few other areas I made these old little ovals instead of spending tons of time just freehanding all these little scale details in here I went ahead and 
made a little stencil, make it a little easier on myself. So, but pretty happy with where it's at so far. But uh, I think we're gonna come back in with the white now um, and do these teeth here. See if I can get you in a little closer so you can see a little more what I'm doing. I got my camera mounted on my ceiling from like a flexible arm, so it's kind of hard not to get my fat head in the way. Uh, let's see here. I did find something I can use as a floor mount I just haven't had time to set that up yet I have to try that out next see if I can get the camera like over my shoulder here that way my head's not in your way but um, I'm actually not using my chroma air paint today I'm actually got some uh, createx illustration white in here uh, what I just painted was with some illustrations as well this is my own little mix I used a little bit of magenta, a little bit of viridian, and a little bit of scarlet to get this color. I kind of overdid it going back and forth trying to find the right tone, so I might added a little bit of scarlet in there to give me that reddish color that I was missing. So, so I'm just going to come in with my PS270 here and get these teeth a little whiter. some dry tip probably because I got fans going again hopefully they're not too loud and hopefully you can hear me been sitting a minute so just doing a little back flush get it mixed up do a little spray out make sure I got the paint mixed up good Actually, I think I'm a little too reduced, so I need to add a little bit more painting. Get a good shake here. One, two. Two, and the third one missed the cup. Partially. So, get that a good back flush that mixed up a little better spray out check my pigment density yeah, that's a, a lot better that's much better Or not. I'm still too reduced. Alright. Just have to build it up slower. Getting a lot of dry tip today. I'm gonna what I do with my shield. Let's put them all away. I'm gonna use one of my freehand shields here, just so I don't get some overspray in this mouth and have to go back and forth here. Let's see here, which one should I use? Uh, 
I also make my own mylar stencils, so if you guys want any, I can also make them. Just let me know. Um, my contact info is in the con in my the comments or the description section here. So. that one let's see let's see if I got one of my small guys works I got all different size stencils too all different shapes that I made myself but yeah looking into making up some stencils I know they're super expensive so uh, I'm not trying to make a lot of money I'm trying to help give back to the airbrush community so if you're a newbie or there's some freehand shields or or any kind of stencils you want, I got tons of mylar. I got a nice plotter. Um, the edges come out. It's not laser cut, but these are really good. There's really no edges on them. They, I use brand new blades every time I start mylar stencils. And I don't know. They've all turned out really, really good and. My plotter was a very, very good investment, I think. It came in handy a lot. So, uh, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but... Just blocking this bottom of the mouth here. Trying to get some highlights in here. And this teeth. Probably running too much air pressure too. I don't know, I like higher air pressure. I have less paint problems that way. So until I get my paint mixtures and air pressure figured out a little more, I'm probably just going to keep running some higher air pressure. If you're wondering, I was at like 40 psi. So I tur just turned it down using my Mac valve here. So I don't know exactly what I'm at now, but probably close to 30, 35, maybe. These Mac valves on these Creos is work amazing too. So. And another little tip or trick I'm gonna show y'all here, which I probably could have did on these teeth, but I'd rather paint, is what my buddy Mouth of Madness uses, the old Jelly Roll pen. This is a white pen, works really good for fine detail and highlights so uh, I got a little bit of overspray on these upper teeth here so just come in with this gel pen sharpen those up I put these upper teeth actually in with gel pen so and then there's uh, some tiny little teeth on this back side here on the back side of the mouth and actually these gel pens do come in different sizes. This is a 10. I don't know if you can see that. There you go, a little bit. But I'm working some fine details. They also come in a 0.8. And for this, I'm actually going to use my 0.5. Make sure it works. Get a little better detail with this baby in here. These teeth are quite small, so. Nice thing about these two, you can, for different effects, you can actually smear it right away while it's wet and give you like a little blurred look. I did some of that in the face here. Some of these finer little details I used this, the gel pen and then this is actually archival too so you can paint over it you can clear coat over it 
is they're really nice. They come in handy quite a bit, especially with white airbrush paint being, you know, having so much overspray and tip dry. It's hard to get some really fine details with the white. So, so that's where these gel pens really come in handy. Now one thing about the gel pens on canvas or maybe it's just on top of paint, uh, they do tend to stop working. Just make sure you got a piece of paper off to the side. Maybe scribble on that real quick. Get the ink flowing again. So. hour away and my buddy should be streaming I think it's at 8.30 yeah old Timothy Luke John Smith can't wait for your stream tonight I think you're starting a new painting so excited to see what you got going on there's a couple little teeth back in here Now, like I said, you can paint over this gel pen too. Some of these teeth back here and in the front here, they all have like, they're all darker towards the base. They've got some a shade and some contour, which I'll have to come in with the airbrush and do. Uh, I'm probably going to use a little freehand shield you know, just on this bottom lip so I'm not shading the bottom lip as well. And then also inside the mouth here too on these back teeth. Somebody might be watching. Somebody's out there watching. Say hi. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's just me um, having the stream up. I don't know if it counts yourself or not. I will have to figure that one out. I'm just coming back into some of these teeth and brighten them up. Once the gel pen dries a little bit, it dulls a little bit, but not a whole lot. Just trying to catch some of the brighter spots of the teeth. And this tooth is actually looks a little bit longer in the reference. And this one looks a little more jagged. So we're going to put a little bit of edge on that. back one needs a little more gel pen like I said make sure you got a piece of paper handy because they will temporarily stop working some other teeth that come off of this upper part of the mouth here so 
I'm just going to eyeball and put these ones in. They are, where are they at? Right, right here. baby guy behind it. But yeah, oh, you guys, I do have interactive chat on here, so here, let me just chat to myself here so you can chat boxes over here on the side of the screen or where are we at here we go on this side of the screen over here yeah or here we go right here is a little chat dialogue I'd love to have you subscribe that way you know when I'm going live because I'll only be doing live stuff for now I don't have any video editing software, and I don't want to buy any right now. I'd rather invest in airbrush supplies. So, I kind of want to see what the delay is in this too. don't know that I'm going to do a whole lot more tonight. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's get some, some more of this detail in the mouth. There's actually there's some darker spots, so what I'm going to do here is just add a little bit of black into this color that I had mixed here for this mouth. Let's see if my gel pen's dry. Not quite yet. We'll give that gel pen a little bit of air to dry. And I probably should have kept my stencil on before this. Actually, I'm going to slap it back on here as soon as I get a little bit of black in here and get this color where I want it. Spray out. There we go. Set this baby down for a second. Get my mask and back on here. Cover up the nice pearlies that I just painted on here. Alright. Paint's flowing good and actually a little almost black shadow on the top of this tongue here. So. I'm going to come in real tight. There's some texture on this tongue. I want to try to get in there. 
Just doing little figure eights, squirrelies with the brush. Dry tip, dry tip, dry tip. And this little texture kind of continues all the way. Come on. All the way along this top ridge of this tongue. Get that in there. tone it down a little bit. Like I said, this top ridge is a little bit darker in my reference. So is this bottom edge right here. I'm going to hit a little bit more. Do the little flip test. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot better. That's a lot closer to the reference, at least for sure. Except for it was a little bit off on my masking, but kind of left a nice little highlight edge right along here. Which actually looks kind of cool. Well, I think I'm going to get something to eat here and tune in to my buddy Tim's stream here in a little bit. If you haven't, go check him out on YouTube. It's Timothy Luke John, John Lee. Hold on. Timothy John hyphen Luke Smith, comma PSA. He is an amazing airbrush artist. Um, he does live streams every Wednesday at 8:30 Central Time, 9:30 Eastern Times. But yeah, I am gonna get cleaned up here um, before I go. I also wanted to mention and ask you to go out and check out my website if you get a chance. That is brushstrokes.com. more traffic I get, the uh, better or more my webpage will appear in Google searches. Uh, if you're a customer, please go out to my website um, or out to Google and actually leave me a review. I would greatly appreciate it. For most of my customers know that I do have a referral program. Uh, here's my website here. Uh, my referral program, you send me a customer, you get $5 credit towards brush strokes or 10% off your next purchase. Also, if you leave me a review, same thing, five bucks credit added to your account or 10% off your next uh, purchase from me. But this here, this is my website. I guess I can't check both of them, but I'm uh, pretty sure you can see it. I uh, got my little logo here, got some little drop downs. You can check pictures, videos, apparel. Most of these links just go to my Facebook for right now. Um, I do have videos out here as well. Uh, these are all the links to all the live airbrush battles that I've done. Um, skull versus. I did that versus Soul Dog in two parts. This is the Batman pinup link. Um, I did that against Mouth of Madness, and then we did the Dragon Eye, uh, W. Leon Artistry, and me. Uh, make sure you go check out all of them on YouTube as well. Like and subscribe to their pages as well. 
uh, but I got a little intro here, my phone number, just kind of what I do, a little contact link. Uh, this is something that I still haven't finished, a piece uh, that I'm airbrushing on UFO paper. Um, as you can see, I mean, just kind of based in that this is a rose and a hand over here. I still need to finish that and then all the leaves and everything. But uh, there's a little gallery of some pictures here, some happy smiling customers, a battle pit, some faux wood grain that I've done, and I've mostly done just textiles, so you can go check those out. Here's some of them here. Christmas stocking. These are some Christmas ornaments that I did for some local hockey players here. Glow shirts. This right here was the first piece that I ever did. This Keanu. Uh, first thing I ever got paid to do. And uh, the fish I'm doing for this guy right here. This is my boy Zeke. Shout out Zeke. Thank you very much. Um, this is some shirts and a hat I did for him and his boys. Really great customer. Um, here's a little another flip through gallery of some older stuff that I did. I've done. I don't really have this set up too great yet, but yeah. So stocking hats, just some practice stuff that I did. This is a stadium seat back chair for a uh, grandfather of a race car driver. Some stickers I did for my friend's business in town here. He does glass and detail on automotive and he wanted some stickers to put in windows after he did it. This is the first thing I actually airbrushed on aluminum and the only thing, this is on my brother's race car. It's basically just vinyl stencil and spraying some paint and a little flamish job. I do do some vinyl as well. This is a sticker I cut from my brother's race car. This is a vinyl double layer that I did on, that's on the back of my car. Just some more practice stuff, some paper towel stuff. And then I also have about me section here. A little about me if you want to know anything about me. Kind of says my background here. Kind of how I got into airbrushing. What I do. What I like to paint. You know, what I can do. And why I do it as well. What inspired me. And what keeps me going. So also got a little map down here for work out of my house so you got my house address there um, that's my phone number contact get a hold of me so go check it out that's my website i appreciate you to check it out um did it all myself i don't know much about doing websites so but yeah so let's get back to the stream so let's get you backed out so you can I can end the stream here and you can see the whole picture. Give me a second to find my zoom. Come on. Alright, I guess I'll just have to manually zoom out here. This is on a 16 by 20 oval canvas. So there we go. And I don't know how to set up my thumbnails yet, at least not for live streams without taking a picture. So I'm just gonna try to get this in frame really good before I let the stream end. There it is. We got the lure, basically just the lure, so a little bit more shading, a few more final touches I want to do on this baby, and hopefully I'll get this to you on Friday or Saturday, Zeke. So uh, I'm really excited about this one. So I wasn't super happy with it to begin with, but I've done a lot of different stuff that I feel has made it a presentable piece that I can actually be happy with but it was a great learning experience so far um, so until the next stream as always keep those brushes actually one more thing before I let you go 
I want to give a shout out to my boy Chad Kidder. Um, I actually bought a print from him. The last thing I drew before back in 2001, which was about the last time I did any artwork, um, I drew Spawn. And one of the first people I started following when I airbrushed was Chad Kidder. And I fell in love with his painting here. So I got myself an awesome print. He does amazing, amazing work. He's only running a limited edition where he's only signing and doing 10 prints. I was 